Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser and today we're going to be reviewing the Young Frankenstein 12 inch figure series from Sideshow Collectibles. This includes the incredible Gene Wilder as Dr. Frankenstein, the always hilarious Marty Feldman as Igor, and the talented Peter Boyle as the monster. Now, each of these characters comes with a ton of accessories, everything ranging from props from the film to additional hands that you can use to kind of change up your figures in a variety of fashions. Um, they do include a foot stand as well. Um, it has limited use depending on how you uh, position your figure. If you have them standing straight up, it holds them fine. If you have them in a different position, leaning over, like I do have uh, Igor here, um, it can be sort of a problem. So you'll, you might want to use... 12-inch um, doll stands to kind of help uh, keep these guys up. Um, it, it will come in handy just so they don't end up taking a shelf dive. But overall, these guys are fantastically detailed, and uh, with the um, the large amount of accessories that are included, there's a lot of fun to be had with these guys. Moving on to detail and articulation, we'll start with the monster played by Peter Boyle. Uh, I think the likeness on this guy is fantastically well done. Sideshow normally does a pretty damn good job at uh, getting the likeness as close as they can to the original actor. <clears throat> um, they don't hit the mark every time, but this one in particular I really, really loved. They did a great job on the facial sculpt. I love how they did like the, the stitching and stuff on there, the neck bolts, his teeth, the eyes, everything. And then they did a great job with his clothing as well. As far as our articulation, he's got movement in the ankles, in the knees, in uh, the hips, um, pivots at the waist. Also has sort of a mid-torso point there. And then uh, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and then the head is on a ball joint. So, um, he comes with a couple different hands. Comes with the thumb on fire from the... Uh, the scene with Gene Hackman where he uh, plays the blind man and lights his uh, thumb on fire in an attempt to try to light the cigar. So in this case, fire bad. And then he also comes with the awesome uh, hand that holds the shattered mug from when uh, he also just breaks his mug of ale. So that was pretty funny. Um, some decent detail on the hand there. Um, if you can't tell already, uh, each of these guys is done in grayscale to look to uh, keep in line with the uh, the black and white look of the film. I really, really like that they did that. Um, I think it just adds just an extra an extra sense of likability to these guys. So, um, but yeah, uh, great detail on this one. Um, next up, we'll do Gene Wilder as Dr. Frankenstein. Same articulation on this guy. Um, comes with a couple accessories. The uh, How I Did It by Victor Frankenstein, his father. Um, a mask, a stethoscope, a pair of uh, goggles which also fit on top of his head as well. And then, uh, I'm trying to think what else he came with. I think that was it. Oh, and then he also comes with a, uh, a little base as well so um, the the likeness on this one it's not completely dead on but it's it's pretty close this is of course uh, the look based off the scene where he uh, he brings his creation to life at the top of his castle uh, during the lightning storm with Igor and uh, he looks a lot better I think Honestly, with the uh, the goggles on, these are molded a specific way, so they do sit on um, his face pretty easily. Whoa! Shot that across the across the light box. Oop. All right. So yeah, a little bit better. 
And of course you can put the uh, stethoscope in his ears like that. Perfect mad scientist look. Um, I really love the amount of detail they did with his uh, with like his uh, lab coat here, and then with the uh, the shoes, pants, and then the gloved hands there. Sort of has that sort of pinched elastic look on it, which is cool. And they did a great job with uh, the eyes and the face. And the sort of molded hair look there. So yeah, very cool. And then, last but not least, we've got Igor, pronounced Igor, played by Marty Feldman. Really nice head sculpt there. <clears throat> the eyes, I think they did a great job with, but... I don't think they're spread far enough apart as they are with, well, that's kind of Marty Feldman's trademark look there, but um, I think they did a great job with the detailing on this one, especially with the costume and everything, and then I love that they included this. They still have written on his hand H. Delbrook, which was the name of the brain that he was supposed to retrieve, but then got the one from uh, Abby, Abby Normal. So, he comes with uh, a bunch of really great accessories as well. Um, comes with a brain and a jar there. Also comes with uh, the horn that he plays on the rooftop scene where they're trying to lure the monster back to, uh, to the castle. Oh, there are a couple other accessories I completely forgot about to show. Um, some other stuff that came with uh, Gene Wilder's character, um, a little uh, scalpel there. Um, with the monster, there's also a pair of shackles. And these just uh, pop right open and clamp on there. This is hysterical. They actually included some uh, flowers, so, you know, once you run out of those, you gotta find something else to throw in the lake. And then, um, also comes with a little uh, walking stick for Igor there. And then uh, also a little bowl for um, the monster. So, a lot of really, really nice um, detailing on all three of these figures. I just love how they, they really captured the zaniness and, you know, the comedic style of each of these characters with the... Uh, the 12 inch figures so um, Sideshow normally does a fantastic job with these and uh, I've been a big fan of Sideshow for quite some time they uh I started by collecting um, some of their Chucky stuff originally but um, I just really got hooked when I, I started buying their Monty Python um, and the Holy Grail series uh, those are really well done the James Bond figures are phenomenally well done as well um, and, you know, it, it just kind of spun off from there. Also got some stuff from Buffy, Hellboy, um, Army of Darkness, The Dark Crystal. They have so many different licenses under their belt. It's just fantastic. So um, each of these figures goes for approximately 50 to 60 bucks. Um, I was able to get all three of these guys for about 180 on uh, Amazon.com. Uh, you can find them easily on uh, eBay and uh, Amazon still. Um, however, they are discontinued and they are technically a rare collectible. So um, I would, you know, as the years progress, they're probably going to jump up in price a bit more. But I would really try to get a hold of these guys, uh, you know, as soon as you can if you're a big fan of Mel Brooks or Young Frankenstein. Or if you're just a fan of each of these individual actors because they're just really really well portrayed here so um, and for the price as far as sideshow goes um, these are actually relatively inexpensive the Monty Python ones run anywhere from about twenty to uh, about two hundred dollars depending on which ones you get um, but these ones I've seen stay at a steady um, fifty to sixty bucks approximately for each of them so 
But yeah, if you have any questions about the figures, just leave them in the comments below and check out some of my other reviews. I'm going to keep doing uh, some more reviews on these Sideshow figures as the year goes on here. Um, so keep an eye out for those. But um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.